Now we're going to move on to day one. After you've done your warm-up, remember that what that was, the two, uh, pedal B flat, a pedal A, a pedal F, a pedal E, a pedal D, and a pedal C. After you've done that, then we move to day one, which is sets of 20 of, of the pedal notes starting on a pedal E flat. If you have trouble with the E flat, you could start with the G. We could start up here. And then as you can, move down so that your first day that you're starting on an E flat. This instrument is an E flat, so I'll be playing E flats in first position with both triggers. You want to use both triggers as much as possible because the greatest resistance air resistance will be through both triggers, which incorporates all of this tubing. When you're in the open horn, you've got a pretty good instrument, you know. But when you put a F, we don't use those notes, but I want you to hear what the, what the problem with resistance is. And then when you go to two triggers, it's it's just weird. So you have to build yourself up to the resistance of both triggers. So we start in uh, first position with both triggers if you're in E flat or you can start on D if you're there. Possible, you want to use a breath attack. So, with not using your tongue, just using the breath to start the lips, then the lips will come right to the right spot. So, you do 20 of those in a row, taking the biggest breath you can possibly take, hold it as long as you can, and play it. Uh, about mezzo forte and then as you go through the second 10 you know get a little louder crescendo a little bit so you're playing pretty good pretty loud by the end of the the 20th note then you rest for like at least three to five minutes and then you start the next one And you do another set of 20. Then you rest again for like three to five minutes. Then you do another set of 20. And you work this up to five sets of 20. So you're doing 100 notes. But you want to start out with just two sets for the first month at least. And then, and then thereafter, about every week or two, you want to add another set. So then after you've finished your E flats, then you need about 10, min 10 or 15 minutes. So then you go to D, okay. both with two triggers. So you play 20 of those, and you rest three to five minutes, then do 20 more, and then um, in the beginning, like I said, you do like two sets of 20 for the first month. And then you start adding sets, you know, every week or every week, every other week. So uh, you do your Ds, then you do your D flats, You want to play loud enough so that you're pushing against the lips. You're not blowing them apart, but you're just pushing on them so that there's some resistance there. So you continue to doing uh, the sets of 20 until you eventually will come to where you're doing five sets of 20 or 100 notes each. And you do this on D, D flat, pedal C, 
pedal B, and then you want to, uh, in D, you can play your double pedal B flat out in seventh position. And then to get the A, you want to pull all your slides out. Sometimes I put uh, a D slide in this side and I pull it out to here and I pull this one out to get down to uh, double A. Um, at first, you probably won't be able to play pe double pedal B flat or double A without shifting. So don't play any notes that you have to shift for. Always keep it right in the middle. It's extremely difficult and it takes years to get it right, but it's really worth it.